Hello and welcome to Office Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to customize the checkout page for Woodmart theme. As you can see, I have this website built with Woodmart and I am on the checkout page where I can see the products I added to my cart, the quantities, the images and the total of my shopping cart, some return policies mentioned here or frequently asked questions and the main thing the billing information and the payment checkout and extra note for rider this this was also added as a custom field okay so for this uh, in the woodmart theme you have settings for this side like the products the remove button the quantities the totals for this side we have settings in woodmart theme so come to dashboard and go to woodmart click on theme settings On the theme settings page, scroll down to shop, expand it and click on checkout. Okay. So these settings are for the right sidebar set sections like these products. You can disable the images. You can disable this remove button by just disabling product image and product remove button and product quantity. Save it and go to the front end refresh it and you will just have the product title and the mm, amount the quantity uh, sorry the amount and the quantity is here okay if we enable all these things and in addition link to the product so if you save this link to the product is still disabled let me show you what it means if you refresh the checkout page and you do not have any of the reference. For example, a user is on the checkout page and he want to see the product description from here. He remembered that I want to check something. I want to check some features or another small info. Then uh, he want to go back to the product page. Then he will have to go to home page first and search, look for this product and then see. But you can add a link here by going to this setting and link to product on save it and when you refresh the checkout page you will see that the products are now linked to the actual products page here on the sidebar here you can see when I hover on any product links are there if we click it it will redirect the user to that specific product so that he can check the small details he forgot so now this section is done now you want to change the fields the WooCommerce billing information or order notes or any extra field you want to add you can go to dashboard and for this you will need a plugin go to plugins add new and search for the plugin WooCommerce checkout fields Press enter and we have this checkout field editor or checkout manager plugin by theme high so I already installed this let me activate this plugin once you activate the plugin you will have a new menu in the WooCommerce menu and checkout form so if you click on checkout form you will be able to see all the existing information, existing fields on this page. So let me first add a new field like a text field and let's make it my own info and label it as my own info. This is just a placeholder, you can uh, write your own. So this field will be required. Let's remove this so it will not be required. Uh, users can leave them empty. Enable, yes. Display in emails, yes. Um, the emails means whenever a user place an order, they will receive a confirmation email. This field will also include in that email and display in order details page. So whenever an order is placed and admin want to check the details of the order, 
then this field will also be shown there so leave these two checks enabled save it once you save just go to checkout and refresh the page to see if we have that my own info available and this is optional as we did not choose the the necessary or the required checkbox okay now uh, in the existing fields you can remove any of the existing field if you want let's say we want to remove the state the postal code and the city let's leave the city state and postal code removed let's remove them and click on save changes go to checkout so this postal code and state should be removed now refresh it and we have city and phone but state and uh, state and what was the other one state and postal code state and postal code are removed so this is how you can customize the um, checkout fields and the checkout card section I hope you learned something from today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss my future videos. Thank you.